The Good Dinosaur is about overcoming your fears. It's a coming of age story where a, a boy becomes a man, but it's, all, it's, it's become about finding how to do that. We've talked a lot about that there's no real way to kind of conquer your fears, uh, that, but there is a way to kind of get through it and find out what you're made of. Arlo is an 11-year-old apatosaur. Uh, he grew up as the runt of the litter. He's uh, fearful. Um, he's, he, does, he lacks a lot of confidence because he's been kind of living under his incapabilities. Uh, everyone in his family have become stronger and uh, more courageous except him, and so he's been trying his whole life to kind of live up to those standards and uh, make his father proud. Papa is uh, Arlo's anchor. Um, from the very beginning, when he's born, there's a connection that's, uh, that we've been really pushing to kind of feel that Papa, uh, when, when all, the, all his kids are born, um, um, Arlo is this runt and uh, Papa immediately feels this connection to him that he's got to take care of him. And uh, from that point on, he, he has supported Arlo in every way. He believes in him. He, you know, uh, maybe he'll, he'll, he, he may be coddling too much. But uh, he's been always, you know, the, the, the foundation for Arlo and everything that he's been trying to do. Until uh, some point where um, Papa has lost his patience. Arlo is now 11 years old and he's still incapable in a way where Papa feels like he needs to step up his game and uh, um, 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 teach him something about uh, his fear. Uh, but it's not like a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a harsh hand. Uh, there is, uh, Papa also finds magic in the world, and uh, there's a moment where Papa shows Arlo these fireflies to, to, to have him understand that even though you are scared, there is something on the other side of that fear if, if you can push through it, and it's beautiful on the other side. When you first meet her, she kind of, you know, after some of the research that we've done on, in farm, uh, on farmers and the kind of tough life that it is, uh, we needed someone strong and uh, someone very practical and no nonsense and uh, that's who mom started off as. But then as the story evolved, she remained that but then once she lost her husband, she was broken and uh, uh, started to struggle with the farm and uh, lose a bit of, of who she was because of the loss of her husband and giving a reason for uh, Arlo to kind of step up and uh, get back, you know, she, he needs to get back home to kind of help out. And so mom represents this heart that Arlo needs to get back to. Spot is our, we've, the heart of this film has been basically a boy and dog story, uh, but flipping it. And so the boy, it becomes the dinosaur and the dog becomes this human boy. And Spot becomes that human boy element of the quote unquote dog. And uh, he's a ferocious little kid. He's been living out in the wilderness on his own. He's tenacious. He's brave. He's pretty much everything that Arlo is not. And uh, uh, because he's been living such an independent life, when he finds Arlo, uh, he kind of attaches himself to him uh, for, uh, for s some emotional reasons that uh, you'll find out in, in the movie why. But uh, he helps Arlo uh, become stronger. The paw print mark is something that uh, Papa and Mama kind of give each other. After Papa builds the silo, he, uh, his family eggs him on, his wife eggs him on, you put your mark on there because it, it means something, that you've done something big for something bigger than yourself. And uh, uh, they kind of gift each other this, where Papa says, I'm not going to do that until you do that first because more than anyone on this farm, you've done the most. And so they both put uh, their marks up there. And then the kids want the same thing. They want their kind of signature uh, up with the family. And uh, uh, as they dip their hands in the mud, you know, um, the, and reach for the, the silo, father stops and tells them, you know what, it's not that easy. You've got to really earn your mark. And then the rest of the movie uh, becomes about Arlo earning that mark. You know, what's been great about The Good Dinosaur is the movie kind of inhabits everything that I love about movies. Um, it's there's some real emotional journey, but it's adventurous and scary at times, and it's also wondrous uh, in in moments. And uh, 
you know, everything I love about the movies and Pixar itself, every, you know, Pixar is full of film lovers. Uh, we all try to inject uh, that film love into it and um, um, finding great characters to meet, finding great obstacles that Arlo has to endure, but done in a way that is immersive and real in a real cinematic way. Something that we've uh, been fighting for is to try to tell the film in a very visual manner. I grew up in, 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 a, in a world where my parents didn't understand English very well and the movies that we connected to were told very visually very well. And so that was something that we tried to inject into this film as much as we could. And so the journey being adventurous, being emotional, and being fun, but all done as much as we can visually has been, uh, uh, you know, the, the, what we've been trying to do.